president just put out his uh, new budget. And he says now, for really the first time, I think, since he's been in office, that it's important to reduce deficits. I welcome that. I think it is important that we reduce, we reduce deficits. We have to reduce the debt long term. And he claims credit for reducing the federal deficit by $1.7 trillion this year due to, due to the expiration of spending in the American Rescue Plan, which, by the way, was all deficit spending. And he says that this reduction demonstrates a newfound commitment to fiscal discipline. Now, let's, let's just... Look at that for a little bit. Now, if I eat 10,000 calories today, which is way more than I need, and tomorrow I eat 5,000, well, that doesn't make me, that won't make me a model. It doesn't mean that I'm on any kind of a diet. And when you look at this plan, this is the president's budget straight from his budget documents. I get it, there was an anomaly during uh, COVID. It was a challenge for all of us. Uh, and the deficit went way up during COVID. But look at the deficit before COVID, which is the second bar on the left side. And then coming out of COVID, what happens? Do you see, if you take out the two COVID years, which was an exception, an anomaly, do you see deficits declining at all? No. In fact, they're going up every single year. That is not fiscal responsibility. In fact, I call it swamp math. To say that we're reducing deficits when this is exactly what it looks like in their budget plan. It's swamp math. No one, you set one foot outside the beltway, and I can tell you, every single American that looks at this does not believe that we're re reducing deficits in any way. And I don't mean that as a knock on the administration. Well, I guess I do mean it as a knock on the administration. Uh, but what I, ought, what I really mean to say is that we have to get serious about implement, implementing policies that will drive growth and that will result in lower deficits over time, or we will be going down that path of fiscal uh, calamity.